Hi guys, so um, a couple things I wanted to say before I start sharing stuff. Um, first of all, I apologize that I just keep doing a bunch of update videos, but my life is really rocky right now. Um, we're like in a limbo transitional period with this move and like that's all I really have time to do is update videos <laughs> and I just kind of want to let you guys know what's going on because I have so many other video ideas and things I want to be doing especially for the month of October and I'm not able to do them I wanted to do vlogtober so badly but that's just not in the cards right now especially because next weekend we'll be moving and there's not really a way to do that. I mean, I'm not as a dedicated vlogger as some people, you know, who are just going to vlog every moment of their lives. And I have no GoPro to strap on while I'm moving and doing stuff. So, um, yeah, there's that. Secondly, um, um, I will admit in the past, I've been lazy about putting my um, channel intro before the video starts. And I want to continue to put it because I really like having a channel intro um but I haven't been doing it and this time it's not out of laziness I randomly have been putting it on there and here's why because when I I um edit a video on the computer then I can put the intro because I have that intro saved on my laptop but when I just automatically upload a video from my phone I don't have that ability to edit it and put the intro so that's why some of my videos do not have an intro if anybody cared you probably don't but it's just me I've been thinking about it and feeling bad about it for some stupid reason <laughs> um anyway so that's that those two things I know I'm running out of time because my son's going to be awake soon. <laughs> Things are pretty stressful right now. Um, we were supposed to be able to move this weekend. We were supposed to be able to move in on the 5th of October. And that got changed. When you're dealing with getting help, assistance from your county or the government or whatever your state is able to help you with, you have a whole bunch of hoops to jump through, and a whole bunch of paperwork, and a whole bunch of things to do, and it's really irritating. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this long story short. Um, we're supposed to move in on the 5th, and that wasn't going to work out because our apartment was not done being remodeled. So, therefore, the housing authority was not going to be able to get into the apartment to inspect it. And so, we would have to wait to the previous Monday, which was not too bad of a problem. But, a couple of things. One, they couldn't come the next Monday because their whole office was going through this training thing, so the whole office was going to be closed. Nobody would be available to come out in the field and do an inspection. So we have to wait till the 10th to move in. Secondly, the bad thing is every day we stay at this apartment, it cost us, rounding up a few cents, 60 bucks a day, plus water sewage garbage. And that's going to add up a lot. And it's already started to add up from... October 1st to whenever we can get out of here and so we want to try to get out of here as fast as we can once we get in there at 2 30 on October 10th I'm hoping I'm really hoping and praying that we get done by the 11th and get everything moved because if we take three or four days that's money time is money in this situation and that's been really really stressful I'm sorry. I'm not trying to complain. I'm not trying to be like, woe is me, and uh, 
be like, oh, you know, pathetic. But I'm just letting you know that my life has been very stressful. And we've had a lot of financial crunches. And, yeah, so it's going to cost even more now when we get out of here for rent here. Plus, we have to pay rent at the new place. <sighs> plus administrative fee or something and all this other stuff. So, it's rough. And I don't get very much money from taking care of my mom. I'm trying to help out as much as I can with that. And you are trying to help out with what you can and my mom. But it's so hard, you know. I'm praying, trying to keep the faith, trying to really know that God's got this. And sorry, I'm wiggling my thing. And that I am going to be okay, that we're going to be okay. I'm just tired. I'm just tired and I'm trying really hard. And all these other negative things just keep getting thrown at us over and over again. And right now I'm trying to stay up and trying to stay positive. Uh, a few days back something bad happened. I mean when I found out about the 10th and then having to pay more money. I freaked out. I got mad. Um, I had my moment but I'm okay now. I'm just trying really hard not to let it get to me. It's just there's so many things we have to do, paperwork-wise, money-wise, that it's just really overwhelming right now, but we're all working together to get it done. So, yeah, so new environment soon, new areas to walk, new um, everything. Hopefully it'll be a good positive experience once we actually officially get moved. It's just really difficult, you know, I'm just anxious to get the heck out of here. And on a more superficial note, all of this is actually causing me emotional sadness in a part of me in my head because I really love Halloween and I really love fall. And I feel like you can't fully enjoy it because I don't get to decorate. And like I'm watching all my friends and people I follow on Instagram decorating and, and having a good time. And I'm not able to do those things because I'm in limbo right now. I'm, we're in the middle of, of, on the edge of getting out of here, you know, and things are pretty much everything is packed up, give or take some stuff, and I can't, like, grab my Halloween stuff, um, hopefully I'll be able to have some time to decorate over there, I don't even know if it's worth it by the time I get there, but we'll see, just, yeah, and that, that makes me sad, because decorating things, and having things different look different around this time of year and just it warms my heart and it helps my mental state I hope maybe somebody understands that because it really does like Halloween and Christmas it really helps my mental state it helps me feel better when I can be creative and decorate <sighs> Yeah, so there's that. Maybe that seems superficial in the great scheme of things, but it's a personal thing for me. And um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say before I go. I know I look crappy right now. It's just a no makeup day. Um, I guess I just wanted to say that because of the financial stuff and the move, it's really been a crunch on my budget. So therefore, I haven't been really been able to do any Halloween shopping, and that makes me sad too. Um, so yeah, the things that I want to get, just I'm not able to get, and not only because of the money, 
is because I have to wait. And then when I do get the money, those things are not there. Um, like, I saw this. Okay, I saw it first at Walmart. Sorry, it's hard to see. And then I saw that Annalise got it. And I'm so happy for her that she did. It's so cute and beautiful. It was really cheap, too, at Walmart. And I saw it. I was there. I was looking at it. I was touching it. But I didn't have any money to get it. And so I had to wait a couple weeks or a week and a half or so. And when I went back to get it, the other day it wasn't there. And it just kind of broke my heart. And I know it's superficial, but I just really wanted it. I wanted that one special thing that I can get this Halloween that would make me feel better. That I knew that that was the one thing I treated myself because I work hard. I work so hard. And last year it was Vanessa, my Victorian skeleton doll thing. And this year I didn't get anything really special. At least not yet, but I don't think I will be able to because, again, money. And lastly, I just want to say uh, on the same Halloween note is that I don't know about you guys, your stores, but my stores, I don't know what it is this year, but it seems like everything is subdued. And by that, I mean when you walk into a Halloween section at stores it's like they just don't have that much this year like my walmart had like barely anything there was one section that had that cute pumpkin girl that was the only section that seemed to have new products and it's pretty much wiped out now um but other than that everything just seemed like recycled over from last year and either everything just seems really cheap or just not up to par of Halloween's past, you know? Just kind of like, really? You know, there really isn't much out there. I, there's been a lot of stores that I haven't been to yet, but the ones I have gone to, they all still have that feeling where I walk in there and I'm like, that's all you have? Really? Only this? You know? And nothing really tickles my fancy, you know, and that was the one thing that struck me was that cute pumpkin girl, and I was like, I want her, now I can't have her. But, um, her, I, I, like I said, there's some places I haven't been yet, I don't know whether I will go or not, still haven't been to Spirit Halloween, I know they have some great things I want there, but I'm not going to be able to get them, but one thing I do want for our car was to support Halloween Magnet, but... I bet by the time I get there, they're going to be sold out. Because I know they were sold out online. and That's ridiculous. Maybe I'll just wait and have fun spending money on Christmas. Because hopefully by then we'll be a little bit a little bit more financially sound. Um, but it's just... I love Halloween so much. And just... It helps my mental state. And I know some of you might be able to understand that. Some of you probably think it's kind of silly, but it's a personal thing, and yeah. Anyway, this is a longer video than I expected it to be. Thank you for listening, thank you for watching, thank you for your love and support. Hopefully, uh, toward mid-end October, and definitely November, hopefully I'll be having better and more videos, and no promises, but that's what I want to happen. So I love you guys and stay spooky.